Oof. Yellow thing spazzing out right now. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Fish Friday. We are going on quite the adventure today. All the reef tanks are gonna get some live brine for the feeding. We're gonna head over to Beverly's right now to pick up the live brine. We're also gonna be meeting up with some homies from the channel to sell some frags. Two little coral orders here. One's a Space Invader Chalice and then the other one we got a Hollywood Stunner, Grafted Monty, and some Acro. First guy's going to his new home. Magnum, right? Yes. What's going on? How you doing? Good, good. Thanks so much for coming out here. No problem. This is going in his 90 gallon tank and you're setting up a 300 gallon? Yep, 300 gallon salt water tank. Crazy. That's going to be insane. Thanks so much Thank for you. Uh, meeting. Like... Thank you. I follow you all the time. <laughs> Appreciate it. You and it. a few others. Thanks sure. so much. Thank Have a good you. one. It's so dope seeing the corals that I grew in my tank into your guys' tanks. Like, it's just sick. We got one more subby to meet while we're here at Beverly's and then we can take a look inside. Let's take these out. That was actually the first Space Invader Chalice that I have sold from that frag piece in the beginning, um, which is pretty dope because she's Louise, Jimmy. I put it at the bottom of my tank and it just like took off growing. I literally have not like spot fed it. I haven't done anything to it and it just really likes that spot. The only bad thing about it being there is that it completely encrusted onto the rock. So like I thought I was going to be able to lift it out to cut Magnum his piece and that didn't work out like that. I only was able to snap off whatever was growing over the coral. So yeah. Spotted wearing the TGIFF shirt. Yep. Love it. Awesome. At Beverly's, come on. Yep. The Hollywood Stunner, yep. it breaks like crackers, so I just put like two huge pieces in there. Okay. So you could cool. just be careful because it stings stuff. So yeah. Keep it yeah. Um, stuff. Then we got the the Grafted Monty. Okay. Thank you. And then the Acro, I, I put it in this cup since I don't have a. We're out here doing rigs, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when it grows, like in the bushel, you can't get the bone cutters in there. So that was like the last piece I had staying and now, now I'm gonna have an empty spot in my tank. I'm gonna be like, all right, that's Brian's fault. <laughs> they drove all the way from the Keys over here, not only just to pick up coral, but to check out some of the stores. Uh, you guys just got to Beverly, so are you checking out any other ones while you're over here? Uh, we might check out the one, other one you mentioned, uh, the, uh, eye candy or- uh, Aquatic Jewels. Aquatic Jewels, I yeah. said, yeah, you gotta go to Aquatic Jewels. It's, it's like probably like 15 minutes from yeah. here but they have some super nice pieces. What Brian doesn't know is that he was actually one of the first supporters to pick up the merch, so we got a little something for him. Oh. We gotta hook you up with the rest of the oh. outfit. Oh, man. I don't know if you wear hats, but. Wear one for you. <laughs> and the sticker. All right, this is gonna have to go on the sump. <laughs> on the, uh, right there on the door for it. Sweet. Nice. Yeah, man, you were, uh, you were one of the first ones to pick up the merch. I really no, appreciate it. we appreciated it. the uh, little note that you put into it. So what type of tank do you got? Uh, I got a 65 gallon. Um, it's not a cube. It's kind of a weird shaped one. It kind of sits tall, so. This is your first time in the hobby or you've been in it first for? First time in the hobby, yeah. So far, are you liking it? Yeah. <laughs> it's frustrating at times, for sure. Yeah. But. Cool. Thank you so much for coming out. I really appreciate yep. it. Thanks for picking Thank up the corals. You. Thanks for supporting the channel. Yeah. So that way we can keep bringing out this content. And uh, yeah, have fun Thank on your, you. your yeah. journey. Thank you. Appreciate you. Now, it's time to see. Jeez, why is everybody driving so freaking crazy in this shopping center? Slow down, guys. It's the weekend. Enjoy your time, okay? Take it easy. Hey, hit that subscribe button, turn those notifications on. We got new videos every single week. When are we gonna build a pond? I want some, but I want that those gold koi fish. Oh, what's up, bro? That one's chilling too. Can you imagine if I had this like full of jellyfish? That would be dope. Oh shit. Oh no, they had a flood. Not good. Something flooded. Really bad. This is what you don't want when you have fish tanks around. I think this is a new tank. Oh, with an eel in it. And they got a bunch of starfish. There it is, there it is, there it is. Where's the head though? I think that's the tail. I wonder if we can see it from the other side. I don't think I should go there, it's still wet. I'm gonna go to the other side. Cool little rock flower. If only it would stay there. I mean, maybe it will in this tank, but. I have two rock flowers, both of them went behind the rock and they haven't moved since. This guy's cool. A bursa trigger. He's chilling. I feel like I haven't been here in a long time and I don't remember seeing a lot of this stuff. That thing is massive. I don't know what it is. I'm sure you guys do. Drop a name if you know what this is because that thing is crazy. I don't know what it is about these odd looking fish that I just love so much. You think he's trying to kiss himself in the mirror? Or is he trying to get to the other side of the tank? Look, he's got blue eyes. 
So dope. I am still on the hunt for my hammer and uh, for my hammer and frog spawn garden in that back right corner. But the thing is that I got a bunch of Christmas coral money, so I have a nice little nest egg for some hammers and whatnot. I could just go to the store and pick them up, but I think I'm going to wait for either Aquashella, I'm not sure if I'm going yet, Orlando or Reef of Palooza. So that way I can maybe get a better bang for my buck, you know what I'm saying? Some of you guys recommended doing an Acan garden in the nano tank, and I really think that is a good idea. I'm not 100% sold on it yet, but I'm leaning towards that. Because there are some really good colors in the Acans, and I think we could definitely make that work. I just haven't 100% committed to it yet. I like this pink one. That's nice. If I grow something out like that, that's going to be bigger than the freaking nano tank. I could probably benefit from some snails right now, but I don't feel like acclimating today, so that's going to be a negative. That one's dope. It looks a little wonky because it's a cylinder tank. The cylinder is really trippy. I want to do the freshwater with these at the top and then like half out, water falling in with underwater, with the mist. It's like a whole freaking mission. This place is literally freaking swamped right now. So what we need right there, they're hidden at the bottom. Yay! Oh yeah. Yay! Dang, fish is gonna be happy. We got one more stop before we go feed these fishies the brine because it's just something that's gonna make me feel better it's gonna make the fish experience feel better it's just an all-around better experience so yeah Woo boy now we're talking baby oh that was bad I just got all the caramel from the bottom The red sino popping up on the bottom of the sand bed. Again, the only thing I changed is I took out the carbon because I started running a regular Kemi Pure. So I'm thinking I might have to put that carbon back in. That's the only major change that I made that caused it to start coming back a little bit. So we got the goods. We got a bunch here. I didn't use this before, but I think it's gonna be our best method here. That smells, holy mackerel. Oh, that actually worked out quite nicely. It caught them all. Manja, manja. Whoa. Oof. Dang, that was a lot. Look at him. Freaking yellow thing spazzing out right now. Oh, there they go. They're realizing it. Oh. Dude, he's loving it. Subi, where are you at, dog? Come on, all your homies are getting food without you. These things are freaking huge compared to the mini ones that I put in here. It almost looks like uh, the mysis that I throw in the tank. Yo, yellow tank is devouring them. Flashes. There you are, Subi. What's up, girl? Come and get your stuff. Everybody's eating good today, and I like that they uh they since they're alive they float into the tank And it's gonna be like little snacks for later, you know, I think you guys want some more, huh? Yes, let's get another one in here Whoa Dude so many oh Look the chromies are freaking out Look at these guys in case you guys didn't know I trained the clownfish to host the Duncans, or for the Duncans to host the clownfish, whatever, however you want to say it. Oof. I'm not going to catch you guys, I'm just getting this stuff out. I promise I feed my fish. The yellow tank looks like it hasn't eaten in frickin' since it got put into the tank. Oh look, even Grumpy's down there eating. Get it! Get it! Nice, dude. Remember when we got him? He was like, literally the size of my, like top of my pinky trying to stand back so that they could not be scared they love it i really got to feed this more often you guys want to know how ridiculous i am apparently that uh the big chunk of nuclear meltdown fell down and when i was doing my water change i thought it was an upside down rock i'm an idiot i didn't look at it and i dumped it and then the next day when i turned my lights on i looked and i was like what the heck yeah that's a lot let me give some Look at him. Finn boy, where you at? Look, Mr. Panda's down there. Mr. Panda just be chilling in there. Nobody bothers him. 
sits in those sticks all day long. Sometimes we'll get a little wiggle out of him, but that's pretty much it. Finn, where are you at? Hello? Hello? There he is. There he is in the center. Oh, Finn! Oh shit, I think I scared him. Some very unfortunate news with the nano tank. You may or may not notice that my mini starfish is no longer in the tank. Unfortunately, he recently passed away. I did everything I could to try to supplement his feeding, sticking on the pasty food, the uh, the easy mastic and stuff like that, but I mean, it just didn't... He, he was fine. I didn't see any signs of deterioration at all, like at all from one day, and then the next day he was flipped over upside down, like deteriorating on the bottom side. On the, in the sand bed like literally one day to the next it was crazy super sad we did have him for four months so i'm glad he didn't like die right away he you know we kept him alive for a while i know online i was saying i was seeing that they don't usually last that long in general maybe like max a year sometimes again there's the rare occasions that they last longer but it's usually in like bigger more established tanks so anyway lesson learned as much as i would love to put another starfish in this tank because it looks super freaking dope i'm not gonna do it just because it's not, it's not right for the starfish at the moment. Who knows if down the line when it's much more established and there's a lot more stuff for them to eat in there, then maybe, maybe we'll reconsider it. But yeah, for now, it was just a sad day in the uh, starfish world. All right, Finn, I guess I'll leave you to it. We're just gonna give the rest of the reef tank because we got some, they say they're hungry. I'm gonna deliver. Savages. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed your meal for the day and your little late night snack that you're gonna get when you find them in the caves hiding out. Going crazy. All the tanks love the live brine. It's something that I really should do more frequently, especially because I have the little uh, hatchery to make the miniature baby, whatever the heck you call them, live brines, mostly for the jellyfish. I don't do it enough just because I don't really have a, like a stationary spot that I can put them and make them. So. It's, it ends up being more of like a pain for me than making it easy, but I gotta I gotta switch that habit around because the the jellyfish love it, the reef tanks love it, the fish. It's really cool in the big tank just because of all the movement that happens. They just get so excited. Our boy Finn, he loves all kinds of food now. I gotta get the freaking algae under control in there. If you guys like today's video, do me a favor and smash that thumbs up button. It's completely free and it really helps me out. Throws us into that algorithm, you know. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. We got new Fish Friday videos every single Friday. You're gonna wanna be here for it. Make sure to check out the merch, shoplater.com. I will drop a link in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for picking up some frags and supporting the channel. See you guys in the next one. Later.